It is October 1st, which means it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this morning we have a look at the latest cutting edge science to fight this disease. And Dr. Christy Funk, breast surgeon and author of Breast, the owner's manual, <laughs> is here with some promising new developments. Always good to see you. a new drug out there that's not FDA approved just yet, but you believe it could really be the cutting edge in helping with chemotherapy. Without a doubt. So triple negative breast cancers lack mm. three receptors, estrogen, progesterone, and HER2. They're the most aggressive subtype that we have to treat. And there has never been a documented improvement in survival in any therapy we throw at these metastatic triple negs. Until now. So the trick is immunotherapy, a drug called right. T-Centric, already approved actually with lung and bladder. And T-Centric, immunotherapy is so cutting edge that literally today, the 2018 Nobel Prize in Medicine was just announced going to two cancer immunotherapy researchers. Wonderful. wonderful. So what happens is this. You've got a cancer metastatic to the liver. Mm -hmm. Your chemo, your immune cells, they kill some of the cells, but never all of them, which is why stage four is always incurable. Now, in triple negatives, you also have a bad protein called PDL1 that handicaps the cancer cells. It handicaps your immune system because it cannot see the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. Enter T-centric and two things happen. The protein melts away from the cancer, exposing okay, okay, it okay, right. to your immune cells, which are now activated and are able to literally seek and destroy this cancer, dissolving it and prolonging survival rates. Oh my gosh, when you see it like that. I know. I have, I have three nine-year-old kids, so this is like so cool. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, what is not coo cool is that 80% of breast cancer is estrogen-based and there is some new cutting edge there as well, right? Good because news. it often spreads. It does often spread, and sometimes later in life, years yeah. later. So there are now three new drugs approved by the FDA against advanced hormonally driven breast cancers. Mm. Ibrance, Kiskali, and Verzenio. And all have significantly sh been shown to slow down the progression, doubling the time yeah. it takes for disease over just hormone therapy alone. These are pills, you no, take them three weeks Very on. promising, very promising. This is something that, uh, being a surgeon, that caught your eye, what is Absolutely, it? so Savvy Scout helps us surgeons localize cancers in the operating mm. room that we cannot feel. Better than the traditional way, which is using a wire pushed mm. into a lady's breast to localize the cancer while it is clamped between mammogram plates. So this improves on comfort, ladies. Oh. And because it's so localized, we can remove the cancer with better mm -hmm. margins, dropping re by 70 percent okay. and finally because I can leave more good breasts mm -hmm. behind the cosmetic outcome is yes, great yes. so this is what happens this little reflector is placed into the tumor even six months ago if you do chemotherapy first it remains inert until you get into the OR and you use this wand that has radar mm. technology so just like air control honing in on an enemy plane you can remove it and then also interrogate the specimen to improve on margins oh, it's gosh. great technology oh, that is that is wonderful all right let's get moving yes let's because you know exercise diet all those things would help in preventing exercise decreases estrogen levels improves your immune system so much so that just briskly walking 11 minutes a day uh -huh. drops cancer by 18 percent what if you want to kick it up yep the nih says for three to four hours a week you can drop breast cancer by 30 to 40 percent really in fact the rule is five hours a week if you and i are just going to hike and talk mm -hmm. but if you break a sweat you will only need two and a half hours a week now what if you already had breast cancer like veronica our thriver warrior yeah. over there yeah. Compared to doing nothing after a diagnosis, if you just exercise, you will drop the death rate from breast cancer uh -huh. by 45%. Okay, come on, I fire. Come on, you got this. I'm so happy for you. And that's good because bone density, so it's good to kind of use the body. Exactly. Increase bone density, which those drugs that we take yeah. for breast cancer. So go to pinklotus.com forward slash move to learn more about all of this awesomeness. All right, give, me, give it up. No, I'm not going right. to give you guys. All right. <laughs> Always, Dr. Funk. Always. We appreciate Thank it very you. much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.